All right, this uh, video is going to be a test. Got a different camera I'm using. So bear with me. Hopefully, this works out. If so, videos will be a little bit better. If not, you'll get the same uh, quality you got before. <laughs> All right, welcome back to Beck. I'm going to do a video here, show you an update, what we need to do, a few things I need to change, what's going on with the inside of the car and any other clips that's going to go along. So, here we go. This is my windage tray that I've used, that I've made. Uh, some of them are kind of pricey, and we've had a design like this before that we've used that's worked out well. So, basically, this is the bottom. The crank would be on the other side of this pan here, and your oil pan is here. The pickup tube comes up here and sits in this area, so this wall helps keep oil this way. The front of the engine is down here. Give you a little better visual so the pickup tubes on this side obviously it's not bolted in but it gives you an idea where it needs to sit i've got these homemade spacers that i've made and i reuse the bolts that are for the balance shaft that i've removed so the issue i'm running into is that the little wall that helps keep the oil near the pickup tube is too tall for the oil pan and as you can see there's a significant gap Need to trim them down and see how she's going to fit then. assemblies in we're trying to fit this dash bar into the car but it's being a real pain bolts near the door on the passenger side right there driver's side about center of your screen right there Need to finish up a few things on the engine so I get the oil pan on that. Bolt the engine transmission together so that that can be dropped in when we get to that point. Finish up a few other things, battery box, radiator, fan assembly, stuff like that. Switches, electrical harness, you know, the minor stuff. Get that stuff caught up and then hopefully be pushing towards getting ready before the race season kicks off. 